We have a 2004 GMC Sierra. We're going to go through the steps in order to replace the fuel pump. We'll start by bleeding the pressure off the system using our pressure relief valve on our gauge. Be sure and capture fuel into a safe container. Before beginning any repair, disconnect the negative battery cable. In order to do a proper fuel pump replacement, we need to clean the inside of the tank and that will require the removal of the tank. Disconnect the fuel vent line and filler tube. At the rear of the tank, disconnect the electrical connection and the emissions line. Disconnect the emissions lines from the carbon canister. At the front of the tank, disconnect your two fuel lines. Keep in mind there may be some residual fuel pressure. Be sure and capture this fuel into a safe container. With the tank properly supported, disconnect the tank straps. Slightly lower the tank to gain access to the electrical connector. It's a good idea to clean the outside of the tank before removing the module assembly. This will keep any excessive debris from getting in the tank. Before removing the module from the tank, disconnect the two emissions lines and the fuel line. Remove the locking ring using a non-ferrous brass punch and turning counterclockwise. Be sure and inspect the locking ring, making sure it's not damaged in any way that would hinder its reuse. As you remove the module assembly from the tank, be aware that the reservoir will contain some fuel that needs to be captured in a safe container. At this point, we need to drain the remaining fuel into a safe container and then clean the inside of the tank. We want to be sure the tank is as clean as possible to allow a clean environment for the fuel pump. With the inside of the tank thoroughly cleaned, we're ready to install the new Airtex module assembly. Set the new tank seal into location. As you lower the module assembly into the tank, be sure and orient the line fittings in the proper direction. With the fuel pump module fully seated, reinstall the locking ring, turning it clockwise. Reattach the fuel line and two emissions lines. With the fuel tank partially raised, reconnect the electrical connections, making sure to slide the safety retainer into place. As you raise the tank into position, work the fuel filler and vent line over the frame. With the tank fully raised into position, reinstall the tank straps. At the front of the tank, reconnect the fuel lines. Reconnect the emissions lines. And the electrical connector. Reattach the fuel filler hose. And vent line. With the repair complete, reattach the negative battery cable. Cycle a key two to three times in order to charge the system. Start the vehicle and monitor fuel pressure, making sure it's within vehicle specification. Now before we remove our pressure gauge, we'll shut the vehicle off and bleed the pressure using our pressure gauge, making sure to capture any fuel into a safe container. 